In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to hide an Elementor form on Cement using local storage and cookies. So basically, it won't really matter if the person were to refresh or anytime they go back on your websites, if they have cookies still enabled and saved, they're not going to go ahead and see that form anymore. So we're just going to write some jQuery to set that up. Let's go ahead and get started here. Actually, if you're wondering how to create this video slider here, I actually do have a video on this on my channel, so make sure to check it out. If you're wondering what hosting environment I'm using, I'm using InstaWP. With InstaWP, you can easily create fast websites for your development process. You can easily select the plugins that you want to use and then go ahead and, and, and give it a name and then install it. As you can see here in the preview, definitely recommend that you use it especially if you have an agency and you want to just create quick websites for your development environment for your clients. I have a link down in the description so you guys can check that out. It is an affiliate link in case you want to support the channel. So let's go ahead and go into the Elementor editor here and let's add a container. You can do this with sections as well. Doesn't really matter there. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new container here. I'm going to go ahead and put in my Elementor form. I'm going to drag that right in here. And then I'm going to add a heading here and set this to the middle. I'm going to make this white just so it's more visible. And we're going to type in form submitted. So this is going to be the title that they're going to see once they've submitted the form. Of course, you can put thank you for your submission, this and that. But this is just what I'm going to use as an example there. So let's give this heading a name. Let's go into advanced and then go into classes here. And we're going to call this form dash message. And then we're going to also add a class to my form here. We're going to call this uh, just for an example, we're going to call this on the classes here. I'm going to call that my form. There we go. So like I showed you guys, go to the form, go to advance and add this as a class there. Okay. Now let's add our script here. Let's go ahead and search for our HTML element. Now you can add the script also in your element or code in the dashboard as well. So let's go ahead and type in the script just like that there. Let's go ahead and set up our dollar sign here with a const variable. So const dollar sign equals we're going to do jQuery. So very important jQuery, just like this. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and call our document. And basically whenever our document is loaded and ready, we're going to go ahead and run this built in uh, jQuery function here. And we're going to add a function inside here. And add some curly brackets just like so. I will have this down in the description in case you just kind of copy the entire code. But if you want to follow along and go over it so you understand it, you can continue to watch the video. First things first, let's go ahead and track our form submit here. So we want to basically have an event listener, but we are using jQuery, so we're not going to add the entire code for the event listener. So we're going to go ahead and target our form. So we're going to go ahead and do a target my form here that we created. So make sure you do a string there, single quotes, and we're going to do a dot because we're doing a class and we're going to do my form there. And then we want to go ahead and target the form itself, the form tag. And then from here, we're going to do a dot submit. So we're going to listen to us for a submit. And basically, once there's a submit, we're going to run a function. Once there's a submit for this specific form here that we're that we're using, let's go ahead and run. Let's go ahead and make this a little bigger so it doesn't look like that. A little bit more organized there. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and add a local. We're gonna add a key to local storage and test it out. So let's do local dot. Sorry, local storage dot. We want to go ahead and set an item. So we're going to do set item and let's give those some oval brackets there. And then let's go ahead and give this a, a key. 
So we're going to call this form submit. And then the value is just going to be set to true. Now we don't now we do have it in a string, so it's not going to be a boolean. It doesn't really matter whether it's whether it's a string or or you have it in a boolean. It's going to go in and set it as a string anyway. So, so I'm going to do it this way. So go ahead and hit update. And now we can see if this actually works. So obviously it's not going to hide this yet, any of this information, but we're at least, we can at least see if we submitted anything to our to our local storage. So in here, go ahead and right click and go to inspect and then go into application on local storage. Make sure you click on the website here. And then we're going to go ahead and see our key and then our value. So after we submit, so let's go ahead and submit something here at test.com hit submit and there we go so we have a form submit of true so now that's on there okay that's perfect so now what i want to do is i want to go ahead when the document is ready i want to go ahead and and read my key and see if the form are has been submitted before because we are going to have it in local storage so it's going to be set to true so what we're going to do is set up a constant and we're going to do a we're going to call this form submit just like this we're going to equal that to local storage dot. This is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be a set. So we need to get it. So we're going to do get item. And then we're going to put in some brackets here, some oval shaped brackets there. And then we want to just type in the key. And let me just make this a little bit bigger there. So we want to type in the key that we used earlier. And that was a form submit. That's what we're going to be looking for. And then we're just going to run a if statement here. So we're going to do if, if form submit, basically this is, we're going to basically check if there's, if there's anything available in this variable, if there is a key, it's going to be set to true. If there's no key set up, or if this key doesn't exist, this will obviously be set to false. Now you could just do equals true. But there's really no point because it's going to come out as true if it exists and if it doesn't it's going to come out as false anyway so we're going to do an if and then we're going to if if that's true we want to go ahead and for right now we can just console.log console.log do form we can just type in form submitted submitted form submitted there let's go ahead and hit update and let's go to console so we can see if there's anything here Oops. and if you're seeing a bunch of stuff load that's probably because it's my it's my my chrome extensions i have so many so as we can see it's submitted there so you shouldn't get this weird issue i don't know why it's doing that doing that like i said because i've I have a I have a Chrome extension there. So anyway, we saw there that it was being submitted. So that's fine there. So don't worry about that. Alrighty. So that's all that's looking good. Now I'm gonna leave this anyway. We can have that in there. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and grab, I want to go ahead and target this title here. So I remember we named it forms message, right? So in our code here, let's go ahead and get that variable there. So we're going to do a dollar sign here and then we're going to target that class. So we're going to do a dot. We want this in a string there. So we're going to do dot form dash message. And basically we want to go ahead and set this to show. Now currently it's visible. So let's go ahead and actually hide this for now. So let's do a selector and then let's go ahead and Target this, so let's do selector and let's do display. Close to none, so we can just hide that there. So now, whenever it's going to basically check if this key exists, if it does, if it's been submitted, then it's going to go ahead and show this. And then the other thing that we wanted to do is I also wanted to hide this form as well because we don't want to show that form. So what we're actually going to do is just basically copy this. And we're just going to call this, oh, we're actually just going to grab what we used here. So just grab this one. This one is fine. There we go there. We're going to hit update. 
Now, as you can see, everything should work properly. Did I ever delete my application in here? Let's go double check. So it's set to true. This should be hide though. Oops. You know what? We have it set to show. Now, remember, we did set this to display none. So, okay, something's going on here. Oh, that's a form message. All right, guys, I have this flipped. Sorry. Hide. There we go. I do want it to hide the, the form first. That's why I have it like that. There we go. So, as you can see, now it's working. It's set to true. If I were to delete this, it would be, it, the form would be there. But there's, there's an issue here, though. You'll probably notice. If I go ahead and submit this, the form doesn't disappear and the message doesn't come up, right? So there is an issue there. So basically we just need to add it into the submit here. So we're just gonna copy the, what we already have here and we're just gonna switch some things. So what we wanna do is hide the form, that's, that's great. And then we also wanna show the message. So just copy that. We actually do need to reverse it, so don't know what I was talking about there. Okay, so we can see that that's gone, but let's go ahead and try removing that key there. There we go. Let's hit a submit. I don't know if this is going to let me. Let's submit this, and there you have it. It's working perfectly. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys do have any questions, comment down below, and I'll try to help you guys out. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you really did enjoy it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.